OK, Bronsted Lowry acids and bases and Lewis acids and bases. Well, a Bronsted Lowry acid can donate a proton. Proton is an H+, plus, don't forget. So which of these has donated a proton? Well, it looks like the HCl. That's lost H+. Plus. Look, it turned to Cl-. minus. So that's a Bronsted Lowry acid, which must mean the water is a Bronsted Lowry base because it gained a proton. Now, you should really write the words out. You can't put BLA, BLB, VIB. might get a little upset. Here's a nasty one. Both of these appear to be acids, nitrous and sulfuric acid. Oh, but which one's behaving like an acid? Which one's behaving like a base? Well, I'm just pairing them up so you can see what they've gone from and to. Oh, nitrous acid has received a proton, and sulfuric acid has given away a proton. This question comes up quite a bit. And we'll just quickly draw these out. This is the dissociation of phosphoric acid. Three different dissociations because it's triprotic. It has three protons, phosphoric acid. My favourite question uh, for this one, how sad to have a favourite question, is which of these chemicals can never be a Bronsted-Lowry acid? And the answer is that one there. PO4, 3 minus, can't be a Bronsted-Lowry acid. It has no hydrogen. Let's just make these equilibria. All right, I'm going to put a box around this one because that's the one they ask about. If that's a Bronsted-Lowry acid, it's lost an H+. It turns to that. Okay, so that's it behaving as a Bronsted-Lowry acid. Let's look at the same chemical in a different equation. If it's a Bronsted-Lowry base, it's going to receive a proton and it turns into phosphoric acid. So they like to ask that question. It can behave as an acid or a base, H2PO4-. Right, let's look at Lewis. Apparently Lewis wasn't a very nice man, never won a Nobel Prize, and yet... A lot of the chemistry we do is to do with Lewis. The Lewis acid uh, that receives an electron pair and a base donates an electron pair. Hmm. So no protons, no hydrogen. Intriguing. Two examples. These are the two they always ask. So boron trifluoride and ammonia. So the lone pair from the nitrogen goes to the boron to form this exotic chemical here. So you can see that the ammonia is the Lewis base and the acid is the boron trifluoride. I just remember ammonia is a base anyway and it's a Lewis base. It gives away an electron pair. And boron, well, it has six electrons on the reactant side and in the product it's got eight electrons. So maybe they'll ask about that. I don't know. And finally, if you have a central transition metal iron, or even a central transition metal sometimes, you can attach your ligands to it. And these ligands, these dative covalent bonds that the ligands form, are actually part of what we're talking about here. They're also Lewis acids and bases. So it's donating an electron pair. They're Lewis bases. And the copper in the middle is receiving an electron pair. That's a Lewis acid. So one equation they've, they've been using recently is this one here. You can see that I'm trying to add ammonia to this hydrated copper. And that's a Lewis acid, Lewis base reaction, even though it's kind of a weird acid base reaction. And only the IB cares about Lewis, really.